Greetings, this is Sister Landra from the Weathering the Storm YouTube network. Um, you know what? I've had this for a while. It's a little butane stove. I think I'm going to pop it open today. I've got a few days off, and I'm trying to be really productive with my time. And teach as well. So, you know, this I think will be great if your power goes off. So you'll have a way to continue to cook. Okay, let's see. We've got a pamphlet in here giving instructions, and I'm not going to read that. And I probably should. This is a nice, pretty, bright color red. I like it. I like this case too because it's very small, compact, and you can put it away nicely. <laughs> um, maybe I should have read the instructions. Okay. Oh, this is pretty simple. Here, we've got unlock and lock. So for people like myself who chose not to read the instructions, it's self-explanatory. <laughs> And they use these 8 ounce butane fuel canisters. So you know what? This is four canisters. It costs like $7.79 plus tax for these. Um, do you have to take it off? I'm sure you have to take it off. Ah, and that's how you take it off. I just pushed it forward. Uh, let's see. Okay, and how to get right in here. You see how this has a pin right at the top? You can see right inside there's the little pin hole. So let's just push that. Oh, and because there's an indention right here, I know that it's going to go right there. Nice lot. And it clips right in. Very cool. All right, let's turn it kind of like this way so you can see what we're doing. I'm going to look at the picture. Okay, this is going up in this direction. And no, seriously, I really should do this first. Um, Butane cartridge groove must be aligned as shown above. And it is correct. So, let's see. Let's lock it. It's locked in. Let's go to release. What happens next? Let's pray that I don't start a fire right here. Let's see what happens. Okay, it's not like my... Oh, I hear it where I light it. Hmm, that's not where you light it. <laughs> you know what? Let me read the directions and I'll come right back. Okay, I'm back. Can I just tell you, as soon as I said cut, my husband says, no, playing with fire is not a joke. It's not fun. Okay, like I'm a little girl. Okay. Anyways, so guess what? It was actually on. You hear it? I don't know if you can hear it. Hi, don't get too close. But I turned it all the way on, and then I saw the blue light of the fire. So back up. Hey, there's a fire. I don't know if you can see. That beautiful. Don't follow me with the camera right now. Okay. So this is very cool. Now this is burning really high. I don't think I would cook anything this high. I wouldn't mean to, I don't think. But it's pretty cool. Um, you know what? I think let's cook something. Um, give me a few minutes. And no, you know what I can do? 
I have a little bit of lentil stew that's left in my refrigerator. I can warm that up. Don't follow me with the camera, just watch the plane bit. Okay, so I figured out what I was gonna do to test it. I had some delicious dal, some red lentil, you know, stew in my refrigerator. I warmed up a little nibble of it and I put together some roti, little flatbread. Something very simple. It's got some flour, a little water, a little oil, a little salt. And I actually put a little um, cilantro in it. So, let's make a little flatbread to go with our dough. Okay, it's cooking. It's cooking slowly. I really want to see it pop up, like puff up. Let's see what's looking like. No, it, it takes a minute to cook because I really just, is this even on high or where I have it? Okay. And this is a test, so we're learning. Now it would really cook up really quickly and deliciously if I just put it directly over the fire. But I don't have my tongs with me right now, so I'm not going to do that. That's nice. That tastes good. Why don't you eat the puff bread? Here, hon. Mm. I'm still trying to flip the bread. I think I put too much salt in it. How's it taste, babe? Mmm. <laughs> so funny.